Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and we got more images from The Walking Dead Season 8. Now, I did not know there was more images. I did a video just before, and I got to the end of the images, and it was just Negan, Negan, Negan. So I was assuming that was it. I don't know if it was a glitch or they uploaded a bunch of Negan pictures or what, but someone told me there was one with Rick and Daryl, and sure enough, I went and looked, and there's more images. So I'm going to try not to be as long-winded as I was previously. I don't want to say character portraits 5,000 million times, so let me just say most of these I do believe they're filming the show and the actors go off to the side or maybe they just take a break from filming and they take an image. So it's a character portrait, they're filming, but it's not actual scenes and I think that is pretty much for almost all of them. First up, we got Daryl and Carol and there's not much more to say that we haven't already said. This is when they're luring the, uh, the herd of walkers towards the factory, or we assume they are. Next up, Rick and Michonne, king and queen of the zombie apocalypse in the world of the walking dead. I think this is a really cool image, and you could probably place where they are in the story by their clothing, clothing if you match it up with the trailers and the sneak peeks. Next up, we got Maggie. I love this character portrait image. This is an awesome one. And again, I don't think she's walking up to anybody. Hopefully Gregory. She's going to put that gun up his ass and pull the trigger. But not yet. Later on. <laughs> but I don't think she's walking up to anybody with her gun drawn. I think this is just a really awesome looking image that they decided to get for a character portrait. And yeah, it does look like these images are coming from IGN and the other ones previously were from Entertainment Weekly. This is such an awesome character portrait. I love this thing. I love this awesome looking jacket. You know, she's pretty. She has this look like she's all about the business. No bullshit. Hair's growing in a little bit. Hair's growing in maybe. A, it, it, I don't know. Doesn't it feel like it's growing in pretty fast? It feels like she just cut it. I mean, timeline wise in the show. Anyhow, next up, we got Dwight, Eugene, Mor uh, Morgan, <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and Negan. Uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Negan looks really awesome in this image. I, I do love the brightness. I talked about this before between the bright popping colors and the black blacks. I'm not really thrilled about the contrast, but man, those that clothing pops. That's one thing I have conflict with the a fan of The Walking Dead. I love the look of realism, how things look in real life, like this the color of Dwight's shirt. I love how it pops. However, on the show, they put a filter on it and shit like that, and they doll it out. A lot of post-apocalyptic movies and shows do that, and they really doll out the colors. And I get why they do it. It makes a lot of sense why they do it, but there's just some moments where I'm like, man, I just wanted to look how life actually looks, you know? Anyway, this is just them taking a break from filming, getting a cool image image here for us fans to go nuts over. Next up we got Ezekiel and I do believe they took this near the same area or possibly the same area where we saw in the trailer where he was rallying his troops and I assume they're about to attack the sanctuary. This is probably where they got close enough where he needed to stop and give them one last speech and this is really cool. I think this is just them pulling him aside. Uh, the, they probably filmed like behind right around where they were filming because this uh, walkway here looks similar to what we saw them walking down in the trailer. So this is another really cool image. Uh, they made him look really cool. His outfit is just shining too, his armor and stuff. Next up, we got more Michonne and Rick. And Rick looks like he's about to bust out laughing. <laughs> this does look like a combination of the season three artwork, or maybe it was season four for Michonne, and then a season three or a season four for Rick. It kind of looks like they uh, combined them for the both of them and put them on in the same promo image. This is pretty neat. And they're probably filming, I would imagine, where they're going to hit the one outpost. Uh, I would imagine either that or they're in the middle of dealing with luring the herd in. Next up, we got Rick and Daryl. And I, I got to go look at all the other promo images from past seasons because I'm telling you, I looked at this and it r reminded me of something from a previous season. I don't know what it is, but I feel like they might have uh, taken this image before in like season three or four, and it was either Rick and Daryl or some other characters, but 
I don't know. There's something about it that it's like deja vu. It looks identical to. It looks like something I should be familiar with. Anyhow, I do believe this is the outpost area where we saw in the trailer where they were walking along the side of the building. Uh, they're probably going to hit Simon's outpost. I would imagine that's the only one we know of uh, for sure right now, and it makes sense because it does line up with something similar in the comics. So I think this is. Uh, a neat character portrait between the bromance going on between Rick and Daryl. That's a cool image. Next up, we got Enid. She looks like uh, she's actually looking like she's a little older. It might be the angle or something, but the outfit too. I don't remember. I don't rem remember that outfit really from the trailer. And what's neat now that I'm thinking about it, this could be an outfit where she, let's say she filmed for the trailer and then they went back to filming after we saw the trailer. And this is actually from a scene we haven't even seen before and that is a really cool idea because there's so much we don't know of uh, that was left out of the trailer f because they didn't film it yet and because they leave it out uh, because they're not going to give us the whole damn movie in the trailer or the show in the trailer so this is cool and let me know what do you think is that the same car that Michonne was standing on when she was shooting that deer and that was an area where Michonne was uh, also doing some uh, practice shooting the rifle you know and she Enid could be doing the same thing she could be practicing getting ready for uh, the gunfights that's gonna pop off in the war we got Jesus walking up I do believe that this is possibly tied into the show where maybe he comes up to talk to Eduardo or Cal or both of them see how they're doing see if they see anything uh, weird or, or shit like that maybe to touch base with them and let them know the plans going on and then Rick and gang show up I think Think that would be that feels like something they would do Jesus goes up talks to Eduardo and they pan over and Rick and gang show up and then they cut to them all surrounded outside the hilltop talking next up we got more Carol and Daryl not much more we can add here uh, Carol looks like a boss though she got her knife she got her gun she got her assault rifle she's all set uh, but they are pretty much the same thing luring that herd in towards the uh, sanctuary I believe that's what Morgan Tara Carol and Daryl pretty much from what we know do, handle in that one section next up we got father Gabriel now this picture could have been taken at any point in time I believe he gets captured early on and I only believe that because I think they're gonna kick this off with war in the very beginning I don't think they're gonna delay it out it doesn't make sense for them to stall it so if they do attack the sanctuary and we did see that father gabriel gets trapped in the sanctuary and if this is in the first episode this could be a, a character portrait they t they took and they just gave him a gun and he's still captured or this might be a little hint that he gets set free somehow or he escapes uh, somewhere around eight episodes, nine episodes, give or take. But like I said, it's so easy for them to just, here you go, take this picture, here's a gun, here's a Bible. It's so easy for them to do that, and he's really still captured with Negan. So that's just uh, iffy, you know? It's up to you. Next up, we got Eugene. Nothing we can add here, just a profile shot of Eugene at the factory. And then we got Tara here, and this could be her going to Oceanside. I do believe Oceanside was introduced in Season 7, obviously for the reason of the guns, to give our group some guns. But I also believe they're going to be doing something. they got to do something with them in Season 8. They have to. They wouldn't just have them there for the guns and then come back after the war and have the, the communities working together. they got to do something with them in Season 8. So I do believe the survivors are going to take some kind of blow or they're going to lose some type of battle and the Oceanside community will eventually join them and help turn the tides of war even if it's just a little bit. Next up we got Morgan. This is probably just a beautiful area where they wanted to get a cool image of him practicing. I would imagine this is something they would want to put in the show. Nice area. They're already you know filming at it or filming close to it and they probably maybe if it takes a couple days to lure the herd or maybe a day or two or he has to stay overnight for something or if he just wants to be alone and he's camping outside uh, at the kingdom he could have slept outside woke up and he's training on the dock and maybe some people because he is in his gear maybe he's waiting for people to come and get him so then our group comes and gets him and he goes off to uh, help lure the herd so that's just pretty much him training we got Aaron here and this is pretty neat 
it get, you get excited thinking maybe he's you know fighting some saviors he was helping to set up shit and preparing a trap however saviors came out and they ambushed him and that's what this image is but it this image could also simply be just walkers <laughs> we get that a lot with these predictions where it looks like some action is popping off and it's simply some walkers came out and he just raises his gun kills a couple and that's that now that I say that, if he is close to the sanctuary, he's not going to want to do that because they might hear him. So, last up we got Gregory, and I think this is really awesome because last we knew, Gregory was on his way to tell Simon that the survivors were plotting against them. They were going to go to war and attack him and whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. Now, here's the thing. We know from the trailer, the sneak peek, and last season that Simon is at the sanctuary. But Simon took over the out post that was attacked in season what six so that means Gregory might be headed to Simon's outpost Simon isn't there so does Gregory make it does Gregory tell them at the outpost that the survivors are coming to fight them attack them kill them take them over and maybe they get ready for them and that might be why they they need extra help from the ocean side or that might be how the ocean side community gets involved because if they if they surround the sanctuary with walkers and then they made a plan to attack the outpost and get them when they don't know that they're coming for them right because they have no communication with Negan and his group they're locked up dealing with walkers but Gregory's bitch ass betrayed them and he told them that they're on their way so they go and it does not go down well maybe even Rick get the Rick gets captured we know he does so that could be a possibility we haven't seen anything yet that would let us know how Rick gets captured but if Gregory snitched them out that might tip them off and they might be walking into a trap so that is the wild card in my opinion and I think that could really throw a wrench in their plans and it could also be the reason for the Oceanside's involvement so this is definitely pretty cool and another thing that's really cool is the complex layers of whether or not the survivors will know Gregory ratted them out if they never find out us fans are gonna hate him and then when the survivors cut him some slack being like oh he's just a coward he's just scared or whatever we're gonna know that he betrayed them but they might not know it I have a feeling if they know it that's the end of him they're not gonna let him stay there they're not gonna let him live uh, I don't know I just I don't see that going down well for Gregory if they find out he ratted them out anyway now that I'm saying that, actually, now that I am saying that, I am starting to think, you know, of the prisoner they got, the Jared prisoner, and if they do have an altercation at or a little battle at the outpost and Rick gets taken but Jared also gets taken, uh, that could be interesting because de then Jared would know that Gregory was a snitch and there might be some problems there or Gregory could actually help Jared to escape or be involved in some kind of backwards plan like that to get on the good side of Negan. So there's a lot of interesting things going on, but you guys leave your thoughts, theories, opinions, and predictions down in that comment box. You let me know what do you think is going to happen with uh, these images or if these images gave you any better ideas for some predictions. Put them all in the comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn.